has increased at a fast pace. Since the Industrial Revolution, most countries started to emit greenhouse gases like nitrous oxide, CO2, and methane at a high rate, which led to global warming. When solar radiation reaches the Earth's atmosphere, a part of it is reflected back into space. The rest of the radiation is absorbed by the land and oceans, thus heating the Earth. Then, the Earth irradiates the heat back into space. Some of this heat is trapped by the greenhouse gases, keeping the Earth warm enough to sustain life. This is known as the greenhouse effect. But in the last few years, the emissions of greenhouse gases have increased due to deforestation and the use of fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum, and natural gas. This in turn traps more heat and increases the temperature of Earth's atmosphere. CO2 is a greenhouse gas which is the most responsible for the increase in global temperatures. In the 1900s, the global CO2 emission was 2 billion tons and now it is 37 billion tons. In 2017, China, the world's most populous country, became number one in CO2 emissions with 11 billion tons. It contributes to 29% of the global CO2 emissions. The United States comes second with 14% and India comes third with 7%. But since the beginning of the industrial age, Till the present day, the United States comes first in terms of cumulative CO2 emissions with 400 billion tons. China comes second and Russia comes third. From 1850 to 2019, the average global temperatures have increased by 1.1 degrees Celsius. In a journey to become a more developed society, we depended entirely on fossil fuels for our industrial purposes, transportation, and daily activities. This has increased the emission of greenhouse gases. But if we continue this in the far future, there will be water and food scarcities and more frequent, harsh natural disasters. The main solution to this is to build low-cost, eco-friendly products. Economists say that in one percent of the global GDP spent, the entire world could run on eco-friendly energy. But if this is not done, it could become 20% by 2050. We also have to plant more trees to reduce CO2 in the atmosphere. If all countries work together, we could achieve carbon neutrality and save the Earth from global warming. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive updates every week. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and share.